Well, the story behind Seven Miles Out was that through running Screen Stockport Film Festival, we were looking to find a venue in Stockport where we could show short films. Um, we'd been to a couple of events in Manchester, um, so for example, the Black Line in Salford, um, a place like the Corner House had you know, evenings where they would show short films, and we wanted to do something similar, but in Stockport. And you know, we started looking around the market area, and we were like, you know, maybe we could do it in a pub. Um, unfortunately, we were looking at the Bull's Head, and the week that we did, it closed down. So, you know, it was becoming you know increasingly difficult to find an appropriate space to be able to you know do our ambition, which was show short film outside of a cinema in a more sort of intimate environment. So then, you know, whether it's foolishly or not, we decided, well, why don't we just create the venue? Why don't we create a space that Stockport doesn't have in the minute, uh, an art centre, but a space which is effectively for the local community, where it could be multifunctional, it could be you know, a flexible space, so we can have all sorts of different things, you know, take place in it. So it could be home to you know, film nights, but also, you know, poetry nights, um, you know, music, open mic nights, uh, comedy nights, you know, anything which would give local creatives in Stockport just that vehicle and platform to be able to run a night and, you know, uh, show what they can do and, and bring it all together. So, you know, we had that idea and then the Porters pilot came along in Stockport and I was approached by Stockport Council um, to do the video because of the videos that we were doing with Screen Stockport, making you know, giving places like Roughly's Bike Show, the event, um, you know, a platform and filming that, but also all the different videos we're doing for charity. You know, Stockport Council approached us, saw what we were doing and said, could you film the Porters pilot video? And we said, yeah, of course we will, um, but on the condition that we can get actively involved, because we've got this idea for an art space that we think that, having read the Porters review, it matched exactly what Mary Porters was talking about in terms of, you know, bringing social uh, capital back to the high street and bringing that element of community um, has been vital to us, you know, to, trying to revive our struggling town centres. So we put the idea forward, uh, long story short, there was a rough rocky road ahead, as there always is with local politics, but you know, we eventually got to the point where we were in a position to be able to identify a space and run the project, which was amazing, especially when you consider the economic environment that we're currently in, you know, to be able to open up an art centre um, was just an, an amazing opportunity and one which actually you know I had to make a big decision which was whether or not I stayed at university, I was at Manchester University, whether I stayed and finished my degree there or basically had to leave uni and dedicate my time to trying to get this you know space open and it was a tough decision but I ended up leaving university and it was you know a big thing for me at the time because I had to dedicate all my time to trying to put forward a business plan but also obviously you know, liaise with landlords and, and, and get an appropriate space and uh, I'm, I think it all paid off in the end because we ended up identifying a space which uh, used to be um, Chafe Solicitors and for a long time had been on the marketplace it was uh, used for storage so it was completely you know underutilized space in the marketplace and when we came in there was you know old carpets, there were filing cabinets everywhere. It used to be a building society, so the way it was structured was like you come in like you would do a bank. And it just sort of was a bit dull and dusty and, and you know, it didn't inspire much sort of uh, enthusiasm or excitement when you came in. And, and our mission was simple, we had to try and transform it into a space which would be you know, colourful, inviting and would capture people's imaginations. And you know we had to do because of the budget wasn't you know very big. We had to do a lot of the work ourselves. Um, we got the help of people like Paul Downs, the market manager, to come in and help us. You know, you know tearing up the carpets, taking down partitions, um, and it was a very DIY. You know, it really was. But you know, we we had an idea of what we wanted the space to be as open plan as possible. And you know, we had to do things like some of the walls were just you know caving in, and we had to put up new walls. Uh, and we had our fantastic mural that was done by a local artist Bob Oxley and that to me is the centrepiece now of, of Seven Miles Out and he came, you know, and over a period of about two weeks he came and he basically painted a whole wall for us and um, so, you know, what we've created now as you'll see is just a you know, hopefully a very sort of inviting, colourful, unique, quirky place which, you know, a lot of people come in and because it's it's so different to what people usually you know, experience on the high street, they're really taken aback, hopefully in a good way. Um, so, you know, we've been able to run since our 
opening in um, you know sort of in the last year we've been open for you know, nearly two years now. Uh, we've run all sorts of different events. We kicked off with a winter fireside event in our courtyard, which brought, which basically was at Christmas, and brought local families uh, together. Um, our local artist Sophie Tyrrell um, led on that, and you know we've done all sorts of you know different events in, in Seven Miles Out over the two years that we've uh, two years that we've existed. And the reaction that we get is incredibly positive from people. The name Seven Miles Out is obviously important. It comes from you know, a boutique emporium that used to be in Stockport in the late 60s and early 70s and we wanted to sort of you know take that history, that cultural history of Stockport and make it come to life and sort of just give it, um, give it a new lease of life in a new space so whenever people you know, a certain generation are walking through the market and they see Seven Miles Out, they pop in and, you know, my dad will speak to them about, you know, what we're doing and obviously he remembers Seven Miles Out. So it's, it's been a really successful um, initiative and it's been a, uh, been a big learning curve in terms of just, you know, how to create a space which, you know, does engage with the local community and, you know, part of the reason why we exist was because not enough people come to this part of the town. So we've been, you know, it's been difficult for us in, in the sort of uh, day to day because obviously still people still, you know, are out of the habit of coming. But on a, whenever we do events, the kind of support we get is amazing. So we recently had a book signing um, by Carol Morley. Carol was a guest at Screen Stockport Film Festival and uh, she, when she came to Stockport we showed her Seven Miles Out. She's actually from Stockport and she's gone away and uh, written a fictional autobiography called Seven Miles Out. So hopefully she was inspired by, by a visit to Stockport. We had a book signing uh, here and Maxine Pete came uh, as a guest and there were loads of people here and they got to meet Maxine, they got to meet Carol and get the book signed. You know, and that was just uh, in a nutshell, that's the kind of events that we run and you know, the support that we get is always amazing, which I'm really you know, truly grateful for the people of Stockport.